Hi and welcome in Jesus' name. This is my story I'm mostly narrating about how I ended up meeting a Christian man, who instead of condemning me, he showed me mercy, praying for me and over me after finding out what my job was, and the kind of life I was in. Then because of this man's love, God's mercy and redemption for me was evident, because I was too weak to see my flaws and help better myself. This wonderful genuine Christian man helped save my life in more ways than one, and I'll always be thankful to him for that, glory to God. I repented and turned back to God with just a little love someone else showed me which in turn, helped me back to God. God bless him. A small scenario, but a general lesson for all Christians to be humbled enough and surrendered to the Holy Spirit, so that he can use us to show love and not to be hateful, condemning others to hell who are struggling in sin, but to show God's mercy to them instead that will possibly lead them to Jesus Christ's salvation. There is some Spanish used so forgive me if it's misused, and a sad rape scenario just in case this is a triggering subject for some. You never know who God will save and your love could very well be a useful seed planted to help get the process started on their heart. People are sick and hurting, and your mercy shown to others is needed and your love is what blesses you for your obedience to the Lord, since we serve the God of love. See 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Pray for people instead of condemning them to hell, cause even the Lord Jesus came to save sinners and not condemn them. See John 3, 17. I hope this story helps, blesses or encourages someone in a positive way. God bless you in Jesus Christ's name. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that shewed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. James 2.13 KJV Where's my money brought? Please, Don. Give me more time. You better have it by the end of the week or else. Twenty thousand dollars. Have it by the end of the week? Because I'd hate to kill the woman. But if I have to, I will. And where am I supposed to find that kind of money by the end of the week? Not my problem. I gave you more than enough time. Twenty thousand dollars red. Great. Just great. Adios Papa, I'm heading in. Okay, Mio. Have a safe drive God willing. Estar Ali Mastard. Si senor. I don't even feel like going to work tonight. Let me listen to some music. Much better. Heavenly Father thank you for everything. I pray my dad and I have a safe trip to work today and a safe trip back. I'll cross the street right quick. Thank you Lord and in your name Jesus I pray, Amen. <laughs> Ma'am I'm so sorry, are you okay? What kind of idiot are you? Did you not see these bright clothes crossing the street? Well? I'm so sorry. Honestly, I didn't see you. I was busy praying. You? You were what? Praying? While driving? You deserve that you idiot. Has no one ever taught you to keep your eyes on the road at all times? Even if you pray. You better thank God I'm a gentleman. And has no one ever taught you to look both ways before crossing the street? But I'm the idiot. Don't make me slap you again. Woman, your slaps are like tickles. <clears throat> but unfortunately for you I'm not in a very tickling mood so don't expect me to hold back anymore if you dare try. To tickle me again. Now if you'll excuse me, as much as I enjoy our rendezvous, I have a job to be too. Glad no harm was done here. Oh, and Jesus loves you. Boy does that man have a mouth on him. Two hours later. Hi dad. Just got in? Yeah. Okay, well can I get you anything? No gracias mio. No hay problema papa. And how was your drive here? He started to do bien? Dad, now you know we're not allowed to speak Spanish at work, right? Okay, okay. You're right. But everything's good with you today so far? Except for the fact I almost ran a woman over. Couldn't be better. What? How? What happened? It wasn't my fault. Well, not all of it. I was saying my prayers. And she... Walked out of nowhere crossing the street, not paying attention where she was going. 
So being the gentleman I was, I apologized, got out of the car to make sure she was okay and she was. Thank God for that. And you didn't see her about to cross? Well, not exactly. I was looking up to the heavens instead of keeping them on the road when I said my prayers. Then I looked back to the road just in time to see her and that's when I stomped on my brakes. Did she accept your apology? After she scolded me and slapped me and scolded me some more, I think she forgave me. Sounds like something your mother would do. She was actually quite beautiful, if I'm being honest. But I'm gonna take my break. You want anything to eat? All I want is for you to keep your eyes on the road son and please, be more careful. Noted. Good. You're my only son and I want you to live a long glorious life in Jesus name God willing. Boy am I hungry. What a long line that drive through is. I'll take my chances going inside. Holy son, what can I get you today? I'll just have a medium cauliflower pizza with mushrooms and peppers, a side of carrot fries and water. Gracias, senor. Yo mismo. I need more time. You know my job don't pay me that much Don. Be reasonable. Not my problem Red. You got till the end of the week to get me my money. He's impossible. Hi. Remember me? The man who almost killed me today. How can I forget a face that only a mother could love? Oh, Namasita, you're hilarious. Again, sorry about that. I'm Abraham. Charmed. Listen, I know I'm not your favorite person to see right now, but I'd love to make it up to you. And just how do you suppose you will do that, Abraham? By buying you some flowers that's almost as beautiful as you. You think I'm beautiful? I don't think, I know you are. And I'd love to take you on a date. Really? Absolutely. Unless you got $20,000 get out of my face Abraham. Oh I see how it is. You're a gold digger. Never mind then. You could have had my heart and my money, but not like this. Have a better day. Abraham, wait. What? I'm sorry. It's not like that. Then how is it like? And I don't even know your name. You never asked for it. What is it then? Just call me Red, like everybody else does. Not good enough. I'm not everybody else so tell me your real name. <laughs> oh doctor, you're so demanding, and I like it. I like persistence in a man. You've earned the right to know my name. It's Sarah. So Abraham and Sarah, like in the Bible? Well yes and no. I hated my name growing up, so I was able to change it when I was 21 to Carmen. So I see why they call you Red then. Actually they don't know my real, new name. It's another meaning of Red, in Spanish. I know. So this means you forgive me? Would I be smiling this much in your face if I didn't? That's my 10 minute reminder to head back to work from my lunch break. Wanna walk me back to my car? Why of course doctor. Thanks again senor. Whatever she ordered put it on my tab, and here's a tip. Wow, muchos gracias. You all come back soon. Gracias y nada. Adios. I'd love to learn Spanish someday. You wanna have a conversation with me in Espanol? Maybe the first word I could teach you to say is papi. Afraid I know that one already. Someone else beat you to it. Then I guess I gotta make you my wife one day so only I get the privilege. Ahem. <clears throat> so you're Christian? Yeah. Apostolic. You gotta tell me the difference between denominations one day. The real Christian faith is one denomination in the body of Christ, where we all are supposed to have faith in Jesus as the apostles did, with obedience to the Lord even unto death if it called for it. The church, Christ's body is not divided. Oh wow. So y'all don't play. That's hardcore. I like it. It's by the grace of God. So, somebody got you upset on the phone earlier? I guess today just isn't my day. First, you almost running me over. Then the person I was talking to on the phone, getting on my nerves. I just can't catch a break today. 
I'll make it up to you don't worry. And are you Christian? What gave you that idea? The fact you knew about Abraham and Sarah of the Bible. Well if believing in Jesus makes me a Christian then yes. Absolutely that makes you a Christian, but I never seen you in church before. I don't go. I'm always busy working, but I know about Abraham and Sarah because my dad used to always remind me where my old name came from. Nice. But you work even on Sundays? Sundays is when I make the biggest tips. Tips? Um, yeah. After serving the people their order. Ah, that makes sense. And what do you do? You're a nosy one, aren't you? But in due time I'll let you know, promise. Thanks for walking me to my car, Bonita. I guess you like red so much that you dyed your hair that color. It's my real hair color. You mean all this Bonita red hair is all yours? See, Pappy. I like the way you said that. I can't wait to hear it in more intense circumstances. Pray on it. I got you covered on that, don't worry. I can't kiss you yet, but I'm dying to. Then don't think of me as cheap. Kiss me when it's right, but don't force it. Let it happen naturally. You're right, I'm sorry. Can I at least caress your face? You may. I love being caressed, but with clean hands. I always walk around with hand sanitizer. Of course you do, doctor. Thank you. You're so soft. You're welcome, and you're nice and scruffy. I hope I'm not the reason you didn't get to eat your lunch. Not at all. I'll eat it when I'm inside my office, God willing. Ooh, you have your own office. I do, as head surgical technician. Well, Bella, you have my number. Give me a ring, anytime. Maybe I can pick you up from work sometimes. Yeah, maybe. See you later, Bella. <laughs> A month later, at night at Abraham's home. Dad, do you sleep in your lab coat? Might as well, since it's practically a part of my skin now. Don't forget to show me this mysterious woman you can't stop talking about. I'm heading to bed now. Bunus Knuckles Hiyo. Bunus Knuckles Papa. Thank you Jesus for everything. I'll read some Bible. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be unto you. Amen. Maybe I'll go for a drive, just to get some fresh air. Nice night tonight. Please Lord, let me have a safe drive especially since it's night. That's Carmen. But why is she going into a strip joint? Guess I'll wait for her out here. Five hours later. Going somewhere? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Oh so what, you're judging me now? I do not owe you an explanation Abe. So you're a stripper? Yes I'm a stripper. What's it to you? Will you come down? I didn't accuse you of anything, just asked you a question. That condescending look you gave me says it all. If you don't like what I do, then you can leave me alone forever. Were you following me? I wasn't following you at first. I only came out for a night's drive until I seen you go inside five hours ago. What kind of maniac waits out here for five hours? And like I said, if you want to leave then go on. I don't need you. Will you stop saying that? If I wanted to leave I would have left already. You won't be the first man who hurt me and you won't be the last, so just go on. Carmen, look at me. No. I don't know what you've been through, but I would never hurt you, and I'm sorry for whoever has hurt you in the past, but please don't let them stop you from giving us a try. If you let me, I would love to get to know you better and treat you real good. Bonita, I don't care about none of that other stuff. We all make mistakes. None of us is perfect. Only Jesus was perfect and is perfect and only Jesus can heal us and clean each of us up. And when the time comes, I'd love to be the man who reintroduces you to the Lord again. Baby, I don't ever intend on leaving you. I wanna stay. You're lying. That's the thing. I'm not though. Come here. 
it's going to be all right. I got you in Jesus name. Let me drive you home now. Would you like to come inside? Sure, but just for a couple of minutes. This is place you got here. It's nice. It's okay. Would you like something to eat or drink? Water is fine for me. Thanks. Two bottles of water coming up. 20 minutes later. I'm tired. Listen, sorry for bringing you back out here, but it was just too much temptation for us in your apartment. It's fine. I understand. Thanks for understanding. So I guess you're not tempted out here then? You're still tempting, but not as much as if we were in your apartment, with that big old bed and they're just calling out to me. Are you a virgin? Sadly no. As a child of God, He's helped me to control my urges and it's been almost 7 years since I've gone without making love. I bet you're great in bed. I'm glad you think so. Just hope my future wife will hold the same views as you lord willing. So what about you? I mean I know you strip, but that doesn't mean you can't be a virgin. Would you not like me no more if I wasn't a virgin? Are you kidding me? I would like you no less. Besides, I would be a hypocrite to get mad at you for not being a virgin since I'm not one. The truth makes me happy. Just be honest with me. By the way, I was 17 when I lost my virginity. How old were you? Oh I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Alright honey, I'm off to work. Thanks for watching Sarah for me. No problem my queen. You were so silly. See you later. Now where's that little brat? Hi Sarah. What you doing? What are you doing in my room? Don't question adults you little brat. You're so pretty, you know that? Please don't touch me again or I'll tell my mommy. Oh honey, if you dare tell your mommy, I will kill her. Now come here. Please don't. I'm only 10 years old. I know. Please, please don't. If you dare tell your mother about this she's dead. And so are you. Now go shower and when you finish clean all the blood out of the bathtub before she gets back. And keep your mouth shut. Okay. And that's how I lost my virginity. He raped me. Every time my mom left me with him he raped me. It went on for three years, until my dad caught him in the act and killed him. Then he beat my mother to death for leaving me alone with that monster. Parents, stop leaving your children alone with strangers. Stop being selfish and protect your children. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry that happened to you. My dad is now serving 10 years in prison. But he should be out next year which makes 10 years. I go see him every weekend. I just feel it's unfair my daddy has to pay for defending his daughter. Something tells me my mom knew about the rape, but she turned a blind eye because she didn't want to be alone. Putting her selfish need first before her daughter's safety. As I live, I will not let anyone else hurt you. And I want to take you away from this lifestyle. You deserve so much more, Belle. Well I owe the mob $20,000 for helping me with my mother's funeral arrangements. My dad was a part of the mob until he gave his life to the Lord and left them but the Don didn't like that. The mob decided to give us 5 years to pay them back but since my dad can't pay them, now the mob boss, the Don is hounding me and he said if I don't pay him by the end of the week I'm dead. That's why I became a stripper, because all other jobs turned me down since I didn't qualify for the position. Plus stripping pays good money, but I've only been doing it for 4 years, not nearly enough saved up for what I own the Don. Girls who give men private lessons, lap dances and sex make twice as much more money, but I couldn't bring myself to engage discreetly with those creepy men. That's it, I'm taking you out of this messy lifestyle. 
but let me pray on it first. Father God in Jesus name, I ask you Lord to help me take this young woman whom I grew fond of out of this lifestyle of misery and pain and Father please welcome your prodigal daughter home as she gives her life back to you. Bless her, guide her, protect her Lord and make straight her paths that leads to your guiding light, love, and redemption. Help me make the money I need so that she can be set free, both from the bondage of the enemy and into your everlasting kingdom when the time comes, because Lord you are the way, truth and life like your word says in John 14, 6. And help me be the man she needs. Thank you Father and may your will be done, in Jesus name, Amen. Amen. It's going to be alright in Jesus name, because the blood covers us and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Baby I got you covered and I'm going to battle with you. Thank you Abraham. You're a gem. I'll move mountains for you, my Belmont Masida. God willing I should have the money by the end of the week and I'll call you when I have it. Well good night for now. Good night my sweet prince. Thanks for being there for me, and for not judging me or being holier than thou towards me for being a stripper. I'll never let anyone hurt her again, in Jesus name. Thursday. Keo you wanted to see me? Padre I need your help. That must be my sweet prince. What are you doing here, it's not the weekend yet. I don't think you're good for the money, so, if you don't have my money by Saturday noon, your boyfriend dies. And I'll have to collect interest a different way. You monster. That wasn't a part of the deal. Change of plans. And I'd watch that pretty little mouth of yours before I cut your tongue out and slap you silly with it. That was a good one, yeah. Stay away from him. He has nothing to do with this. I'm pretty sure he knows. So he has everything to do with it. Time is money red. Saturday 12 noon or else. Oh Lord, help me Father. I know I haven't been going to church like I should have, or read my Bible or live for you, but Lord I'm your child so please hear my cry. Please don't let Abraham and his family or me get hurt. I promise I'll live for you if you deliver us out of the hands of the evil one. Help me Jesus. Jesus help us Lord. I gotta go make sure she's okay. Please let it be him. Hey! Oh thank you Jesus. What's wrong? The Don was here and threatened to kill you if I didn't come up with the money by 12 noon Saturday. Baby I'm so sorry for dragging you in my mess. You didn't drag me into anything babe. Give me some credit. I told you. I'm going to battle with you because I want to be there for you. You touched a special place in my heart and now I can't turn back, even if I want to. But I don't want to. God will come through for us, somehow, some way. So don't worry, all the money this Don is asking for is almost in full. I won't let him hurt you, or me. And he better be a man of his word and leave us alone once the transaction is complete, or he'll have my wrath to deal with. He's not the only one in power. I know people who work for law enforcement. Besides, it's God who makes the rules, not him. He better not lay a finger on you and keep his promise. Abe, honey. Why are you risking your neck for me? Isn't it obvious, my love? You, you love me? How could I not? I love you. Mia more. Te amo mi amor. I love you very much. Why do you love me? I'm not a church girl, yet. My Bella, I don't care about that. Just knowing you believe in Jesus is enough for me, and we can always start going to church together. Honestly, you were the most loveliest woman I have ever laid eyes on. Even though you were upset with me when we first met, and I can understand why, but after getting to know you, you are very Bella to me and you have a beautiful soul, which makes you that much more attractive. The story you opened up to me about the abuse, lets me know you trust me. Or at least you're starting to. As a man who's already interested in you, I couldn't just stand by and watch you crumble in this dangerous lifestyle. No, I feel the need to protect you and you'd make it easy for me to do that. 
I like a woman who can trust me because I know I am not leading her astray, but in the ways of the Lord. I believe you're going to be my wife someday, or at least I am hoping and praying so. So it's my duty to man up and show you that I can protect you and provide for you, with Jesus' help and leadership. Abraham, that's so sweet. And it's true. You don't have to tell me you love me back if you don't feel it yet, I just wanted to let you know how I felt. Me or more, I'm serious about you. When this is all over, I'd love to date you more and court you, if you want to. Of course. Of course I want to. I love you too. Yes! But let's still date first after all this is over, okay Mia Moore? Okay. And you don't care that I'm a black woman. Just had to ask. Ask away, no worries. With you, I don't see a color, I see a beautiful soul of a beautiful woman. Besides, as long as you're a biological woman into a biological man like myself, then the love between us is all that matters. True love don't see color, it sees the heart. How people act determines their heart, their character. I love yours. But your skin is very lovely and radiant glory to God. I gotta get back to work now. I'll call you when I have the money. And you call me whenever you want or need anything. Lord Jesus, please come through for us. I have faith that you will God, thank you. God you are so good to me for bringing this handsome stranger into my life to love me and be there for me. Thank you Lord. I owe you my life so help me surrender it to you Lord. Saturday 12 noon. Let me call her and let her know I'm on my way. Hi babe. Hi Mia Moore. I got all the money. I'm on my way now. I should be there God willing in 20 minutes. I love you. I love you too. Drive safe. I love that woman. But what is this? Oh no, traffic. Come on people go. 20 minutes later. Finally babe. Time to give me what you owe me. I even gave you 20 more minutes. My boyfriend is on his way over with your money. You expect me to believe he came up with $20,000 in less than a week? Do what you do best and strip down to your underwear. I'm getting what's mine one way or another. No. Please don't. He's on his way. Enough talking and let a real man make you feel good. Thank God traffic is moving along. He better not put his bloody hands on her. Here's my chance to call the cops. No, stop. Don't touch me. I don't want to dance for you. How dare you make her do a lap dance on you. Just leave her alone. Hey, baby you came. Of course I came back for you, Mia Moore. Go wait in the car. I got your money. Well, 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 if it isn't the boyfriend in the flesh. I don't care who you are. You don't scare me because my God is bigger, mightier and far more scarier than you'll ever be. Jesus is his name. Now here's you 20 G's. Abe throws the money bag at him on the floor. Leave us alone and disappear before I have to take matters into my own hands. You or your God don't scare me. He will, and you don't scare me neither. I'd watch your tongue boy, if I were you. By the way, threatening the mob boss will get you six feet under. Have a nice life. Enjoy the money while you can. And where do you think you're going? Then he pulls out a gun and shoots Abraham. Not so tough now, are you? Thanks for the money, be lucky I didn't kill you. I'm still not scared of you. Because my god will avenge me of my enemies so go ahead and kill me but my blood is on your hands. Too much talking. Out of my way. Freeze. You are under arrest. You gotta be kidding me. There was a gunshot. Go check it out. Right. Please lord let him be okay. Police here. Are you alright? I've been shot. Let's get you to a hospital. No need. I'm a doctor and I already took the bullet out. Don't worry about me. Just see to it that the streets are safer from illegal intimidation. We're working on it. Would you like to press charges? No. 
I forgave him already but it's in the state's hands to get justice for his criminal record, and try harder to bust these gangs up. With your long list of criminal activities you'll be going away for a long time, Mr. Brana. When my partner is finished we're taking you to the lab first to get tested then to book you. I want my lawyer. Abraham. Baby you were shot. Yes but I took the bullet out and I'll clean myself up. But let's get in the car. This is all my fault. Hey look at me. No it's not your fault. I'm alive. You're alive. Thank God we made it out alive. We'll get through this, together in Jesus name. Wait. He didn't molest you did he? No. He just surprisingly wanted a lap dance. I told him you were on your way, so I think he was just buying time. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? If I did, it would be like going back to work but I don't want to step foot in my job right now. I get to relax and have my dad take care of me. He's a doctor too, but one more suitable for this kind of situation. Babe I would love to help care for you too. I would love that. Good. But I'm curious where you got all the money from. My savings account and some of my dad's. He's very helpful to me for the woman I love as long as he likes you and knows I'm serious about you. Then I'll be sure to thank him. Thank God you're okay. God is good. Now, even though your body is beautiful, what do you say we get you some clothes? See, Pappy. <laughs> Next month. Well you lost Nanos enjoy your day together. I'm heading in to work lord willing. Have a safe trip papa. Mr. Drake I'm gonna learn Spanish quicker than I thought if you keep that up. That's the plan mamacita. Babe, I'm visiting my daddy today. You're welcome to accompany me. I'd like that. I've been meaning to ask you, what happened to your mom? She passed away a few years ago in her sleep. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's alright. She's safe with the Lord now. Hi daddy. Is this a bad time? I can come back in 10 minutes. No honey, I'm finished now. How's my baby girl doing? You look radiant. Thanks dad, you look good too. I see you are taking care of yourself. You know, the dawn is behind bars now, and I had help doing it. Dad, meet my soon to be husband God willing. The pleasure is all mine. I'm Abraham. Glad I could finally meet you sir. Nice meeting you too Abe. Thanks for looking after my daughter for me. You're a blessing in disguise. Afraid this is not a disguise sir. You're alright son. Let me talk to my daughter before visiting time is up. Dad I'll see you again in two weeks. Goodbye my princess. Until then. I love you baby girl. Daddy I love you too. Abe, honey. I'm so happy you were with me today. Thank you baby. And for helping me quit stripping and get a real job. Me more, I'll always be here for you. Thanks for inviting me to see your dad today. Nilo Menciones. Whoa. Your Spanish is coming along good. I learn from the best. And I love the flower baby thanks. But, how did you manage to get yourself shot by the Don? Let's just say I stood my ground, toe to toe, man to man and he didn't like that. My hero. My love, I have a surprise for you. Look ahead. Hi baby girl. Well don't look so surprised to see me. Dad. Does a dream come true? How are you out so soon? By God's grace, and my future son-in-law here pulled a few strings. Thanks again son, I really appreciate it. You're a good man of the Lord. You have my full approval to marry my daughter, because I know you're good to her and right for her. Yeah! Muchos gracias sir. I do just about anything to make me more happy. Thank God for friends in high places, because I couldn't leave you in jail for another year after she told me how you rescued her from a horrible situation. In my opinion, the punishment on that pervert served him right. I hear you son, but who am I to take another man's life? 
I know what he did was wrong, very wrong and I will never excuse that, and I'll always protect my little girl. But maybe I took it a little too far. After all, it is God who has the authority to take life and to get revenge, not us. You just taught me something sir. But with all due respect, how do you know God didn't use you, to show his revenge by having you do what you did? Sometimes God uses people to exact his vengeance. Who knows how many demons that guy had and how many other little girls he's taken advantage of. And how many more he would try to. That's probably also why you only had a service of 10 years, for double homicide, because the court seen you as a hero and not a murderer. You give me something to think about. You're a wise young man beyond your years. It's just that after giving my life to Jesus while incarcerated, I had time to think about it deeply. But I like the point you made too. How about we constantly pray and read our Bibles? I agree sir. Thanks for this, Mia Moore. I love you so much more now. I'm gonna spend a little time with my dad but I'll call you soon. Alright. But I'm gonna miss you. Then you'll love me more when you see me again. So I spent time with my father and as the days passed by, I loved him more and more, appreciating what he's done for me, sacrificed his freedom for me his daughter. The way my daddy protected me the best way he knew how at the time always streamed tears down my eyes. Daddy was already a free man the last day I visited him in jail, but he wanted his freedom to surprise me and boy was I surprised and filled with emotions. Daddy and Abraham got me good. It was so refreshing seeing my dad, my hero free again where he belonged. My dad and Mr. Drake got acquainted. And my handsome doctor courted me for five more months to be sure it's God's will and then... Well, no spoilers. It's good to always seek the Lord first before jumping into something so serious and lifelong. All I gotta say is I thank God Almighty for this wonderful God-fearing people-loving brave prayer warrior of a man. And I thank God for redemption, accepting me back, his prodigal daughter and delivering me out of a cruel lifestyle that could have took a turn for the worst. How am I so blessed right now? Fast forward to our last date before he... Well, you can see for yourself. Look baby I saved this special dance for you. Zesty. You look good but... Be careful Mia more, not to fall in the water. But please come to me so I can ask you to marry me. You wanna marry me? I'd be a fool not to. I never imagined somebody would ever wanna marry me. And then he got on one knee, and asked me. Mia more, nunca te eat a jar. Te amar tanto, por siempre y para siempre. That sounds beautiful but English please. I knew you'd say that. Translation, my love, I will never leave you. I love you so much, forever and always. You're perfect for me. I cannot live without you nor could I ever see myself with another woman. Please be my wife, Carmen. See, si, Pappy, see. Si. Of course I'll be your wife, what kind of question is that? Then I bent down hugging my man, kissing him with tears streaming down my cheeks as we both stood back up together holding each other for at least three minutes as I cried in his embrace, tears of joy as he held me, soothing me and kissing my neck. And what better place to have our small wedding than the place he proposed to me, four weeks later. I surrendered my life back to Jesus and we went to church every Sunday. Yes, we remained sexually abstinent until after we tied the knot. But yeah, here's our wedding. Thank you Jesus for redemption. At least they're matching. Look at them man, all grown up praise God. I couldn't pick a better man for my princess. Thank you Jesus for Drake and his son Abraham. And thank you Jesus for blessing Moses and his wonderful daughter Carmen into our lives. Bunajante. I love seeing my son happy and holy. Gracias amigo. Nice day today to get married. Well please face each other. Now to you Abraham, take Carmen as your lawfully wedded wife, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live till death do you part? Oh baby, in Jesus name I do. And do you Carmen, take Abraham as your lawfully wedded husband, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, 
in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live till death do you part? I can't believe I'd ever say these words, but yes, I do in Jesus' name. Then with honor and great joy, by the power invested in me, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your beautiful bride, and may God bless your godly union always and forever. Gracias Pastor, God bless you too. De nuevo hosted, mi amor. Te amo mi hermosa novia. Translated, back to you, my love. I love you very much, my beautiful bride. Boy do I love that man of mine's. So yes, that was my story. Please remember brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, love covers a multitude of sins. It is easy to stick your nose up looking down on others to judge and condemn them to hell, but how many can have compassion like Jesus did, offering them the gospel of love? God is a God of love and peace, not confusion and hate. Try loving your neighbor and plant the seeds in the spirit of truth and love instead of being a prideful Pharisee. Don't accept people's sin, no, but don't condemn them either. After you lovingly and truthfully tell them about Jesus don't expect them to get it right away. Only leave the rest in God's hands and pray for them. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. Hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Jude 123 KJV Don't be too proud or scared to get to know people and lend a helping hand, giving them the good news, especially helping a weaker Christian. Pray for people which is giving love that don't cost a thing because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Every man according as he proposeth in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly, O hour of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 KJV God bless you in Jesus Christ's mighty and precious name.